Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Volvo Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1983 Volkswagen Westphalia. We just completed a 2,400 mile trip up to Mount Pisgah, which is in North Carolina. We're gonna document that and show it all to you while we're doing this walk around. Before we go into full details on this specific van, please take a look at my t-shirt. These are limited release ride or die shirts. They're gonna be coming in cotton. They come in gray, yellow, teal, and white. Pretty retro. We're gonna to try to release a new shirt every month. We only get 100 of these shirts to release and then they're over. Back to this specific van at hand. So as I said before, we just did a 2,400 mile trek. We went from here to Georgia, then to North Carolina. We hit Asheville up, we went through South Carolina, and it was an extremely amazing trip just because of this van. I wanna start off with the main features, which would be the side entrance right here. Uh, this is a pop-up van. It's powered by a 1.9 liter uh, gasoline engine and it's water cooled so that allows you to actually push it a little bit harder than the air cooled motors. You can be going at 74 miles per hour at around 3800 RPMs which is really 38 3900 RPMs which is really really nice. I'm going to open up this top and what this does is it allows you to sleep up here. This turns into a bed so all you do is pull this down and for the first uh, night of our journey, we went to Tybee Island, which is pretty amazing. That's where we lost a armed nuclear weapon, if you go and start looking that up. So Georgia was giving a lot of incentives to the movie industry, and that's why they have so many movies going on there. And it's so beautiful, that's why a lot of people choose it. Let's go inside here. I know you don't want to hear about history. So it's a pretty spacious cabin. Me and my wife fit in here fine. The first night we slept down here because it rained the whole the whole evening and it was hot. In Florida or Georgia was like still 80 degrees, so we opened these up, but the water would still come in. This is a waterproof material, so you can keep it closed. What we did to get ventilations, we actually opened that that window there and ran a fan. Uh, you do have storage underneath here. This would be the cover that you put on the on the front windscreen, which gives you privacy. And then this is also uh, these are thermal. So if you go in the mountains, these are really helpful. You can put them on the glass, it keeps the temperature up inside. You do have a, a storage cubby up here. Normally if you had air conditioned, that's where that would be. Two additional speakers have been added. Stereo sounds really, really good. It has a Bluetooth setup. And what's neat is I've run that stereo for five hours without even turning the car on and it never killed anything. As we continue to walk around the inside space, I wanna show you guys these plugs. These are gonna go straight to shore power. So when you plug it in outside, that's gonna allow you to charge your phones, run whatever accessories you want. Here's your circuit breaker. If you ever have a problem with the refrigerator, uh, the plug for it is gonna be behind here, but you're not going to, but there's a plug back here. If you're having a hard time starting it, you open this up and you put some air in there. You can use your tire pump, but not like compressed air, just like uh, one that pumps very slow, something you plug into a, a cigarette lighter. That'll allow air to get into the propane and start on fire. Uh, you have another table mount right here, a fire extinguisher, and your battery is underneath here. So it's a little compartment. You pull this off and the battery's in there. The interior is extremely nice. It does have these mats that have been put in to cover the carpet. It's a really solid piece, and whoever gets it is going to love it. It has, shows 240,000 miles on the odometer, but the motor was redone 5,000 miles ago, and it drives excellent, not a single leak which is pretty impressive. I thought it was out of oil. Okay, so you have your kitchen top right here and you do have ventilation. So you can open this up and uh, you can cook, you know, we were doing coffee and hot chocolates, cooking hot dogs, etc., with no issues. You do have a water pump which operates. That's really helpful to clean. Um, and then you can close this and put your pans on here. Not have to worry about anything. Really clean design. This is original, so when we got it, we bought it earlier this year. We pulled everything out. We cleaned all the coils. The refrigerator goes to four, or basically like a freezer, 40 degrees. So how you turn it on is you have your natural gas underneath. You put it in the gas selection. You pump this about 30 or 40 times. You hold your safety for five seconds and click it. And then you check here to see if your, if your basically if your propane's on, it'll light up. And if you have it on this, it runs off the battery when the car is running or if you want shore power, just click it here. And this all operates. You do have more storage compartments, so we kept our food, you know, our dry foods in here. And this is like our survival drawer. We had flashlights, lighters, you know, kindling to start a fire because we were in a beautiful park. 
And then here's your cockpit area. What I love about it, you open this door. So these chairs swivel. And they also are captain's chairs. So you see these armrests, that helps out tremendously with fatigue when you're driving. So have your arms there, hold on to the steering wheel. While we were driving through the mountains, these things like saved my life because normally you want to rest your arm on the door, but you can't because it starts to bother you from the weather stripping. You put these bad boys down, you can adjust them up and down, and you're good to go. The seat turns around, and then you can pull the table out that's right behind you. You guys can have dinner, enjoy yourselves. We played Scrabble in the middle, that was a blast. We would leave this carpet, this AstroTurf, we'd put it outside because sometimes there are rocks that would be near the door. But overall, a very nice design. Top doesn't leak. You have more storage up here. And then this is an aftermarket uh, piece. So you see that's pretty cool, the Volkswagen symbol. This comes out really easy. You need two people to put it up. And whoever buys this, if they have any questions, I mean, I just drove it 2,400 miles. I know all about it. Let's go down the driver's side. Front end looks really good. I'd rate the paint an eight out of 10. Underneath is extremely solid. We'll have pictures in the gallery. Propane tank, we checked all the lines, we checked all the brakes. Complete service, new belts and filters. You don't have to do anything. You just jump in it and you go to your next journey. And I can guarantee you're not gonna have any problems. Those wheels really do set it off too. So another feature, this is gonna be where your propane heat is gonna come out of, or your flue vent. And what that does is when you turn that propane on, the heat, you know, it escapes from here and it keeps cooling everything. You do have shore water. So if you want to run the sink without using your, your tank that's stored, you can plug it in right here. This does have the Go Westy Quick Connects and we will include that piece. Here's your shore power. And then this is how you fill up your, uh, your tank in here. I believe it's 15 gallons. The body is super straight too. Nothing but thumbs ups as we're driving. This all closes as well. So when you guys go to sleep or if you want some privacy, you just open this hatch up and you can pull these pins and move it to the side. Let's talk about the power plant here. So I was not, ex I'm not used to driving something with 80 horsepower. That's what this 1.9 liter gasoline motor has. Runs great going on a flat surface. When you're going up the hills, you're gonna have to learn how to drive it, how to keep it in the RPM range so you keep continuous power. We made it all the way to Mount Pisgah, which is 5,000 feet above sea level. Unreal sights. We stopped at all the places you go through mountains. Uh, we camped up there. We even saw a black bear, which is really cool. I'm going to show you the motor. And before that, there's some more storage here. So what I did is I kept all of my tools, my spare belts, oil, duct tape, and zip ties, and toilet paper. You got to have toilet paper. We kept all our shoes up here. Right now, I'm going to show you the engine bay. So this is water cooled. We went through the alternator, we did fluids and filters, new belts. Cooling system works excellent. And also your 12 volt to the refrigerator does operate as well. Basically everything works. We replaced a lot of components that were plastic to metal so they won't burst. All right, let me close it. Oh, also what I do is I usually keep a coolant bottle under here just in case. And if you guys ever do overheat, you can use your, your, your stored water to fill that jug up and keep your system good. I mean, these are pretty simple motors. Fuel injected too, so it's easy. This also turns into a bed, I forgot to say that. So you, you pull this pad back a little bit and then there's a release. You pull the seat out and this turns into a long bed. The top is actually longer, so it's more comfortable to sleep on. But if you have to have your kids sleep downstairs, this would be, definitely be it. All the emblems look great, all the lights work. It's just a really nice car. Let me go to the driver's seat. I wanna show you what we did. So the motor in this car, when you're cruising at 4,000 RPMs, you don't even hear it. So I was kind of worried about over revving the motor. So I installed a Bosch TAC and I tried to keep it under 4,000 RPMs throughout the whole journey. I got around 310 miles per fill up. Just a nice piece, easy to drive. Uh, you'll see some clips of us driving through the mountains right now. So you can see that it actually works. 
And this is a real deal. It's not something that's just, that was just sitting in a warehouse and no one's used. I just tried and tested it and I give it the seal of approval from Bullet Motorsports. If you guys have any questions, if you want to finance this or if you want to transport it, there are links on our site that you can click on and that's going to give you full accessibility to shipping quotes and financing. We offer financing through three parties. Thanks again.